Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna be talking about all things nude, okay? And no, I'm not talking about nude pictures, okay? I always get questions on what lip wearing, what lip color I am wearing when it comes to nude tones or bright red so if you guys want a video on my favorite reds because i love a good red lipstick then comment down below but today it's all about the nudes that i love and wear constantly and get questions about them so everything will be linked down below in the description bar so if you want to check them out definitely do that and also let me know what lip products you love to wear so to start off, I am going to talk about my go-to lip liners because if you're my skin tone or a little bit deeper, a lip liner is really going to take your nude lipstick situation to another level. It's going to give your lips a little bit more dimension and overall it's going to flatter your skin tone a lot more. So I love me a great lip liner and even if you are fair skin tone, put on a lip liner, trust me. It's gonna look fabulous. I have three lip liners that are my go-to. Two of them are super duper affordable and one is a little bit more uh, pricier but still not super high end. And when it comes to lip liners, I don't think you need to fork up a bunch of money, like $40, $50 for a lip liner. Honestly, you can find really great lip liners for a fraction of the cost. So my two affordable ones are from NYX Cosmetics and this is part of their suede matte lip liner line. This has so many dupes for high-end lip liners or MAC lip liners. Definitely check out this line from NYX Cosmetics and they're super um, like creamy, they go on nicely, they last a long time, they're very pigmented and there's just so many shades to select from. So these are my go-to. The first one is the one that I wear almost every single time I wear a nude lipstick. I go to this one. It has replaced uh, one of my Makeup Forever lip liners and it's just my go-to. I love that it's this neutral brown. It just, just goes with everything. So this is called Cold Brew. And like I said, it is a neutral, um, well, it has hints of redness. It's a little warm. It's a little warm, but I can get warmer. I don't know, something about this color just goes with so many nudes. So there it is right there. And I hope you guys can see that shade there. It looks a lot deeper on camera, to be honest with you guys. It is a little bit lighter than this, but it is like my perfect nude for my nude lipsticks. And then from NYX, I also have from the Suede Matte Lip Liner line, this is called Free Spirit. And this is a very uh lighter nude really soft soft nude i tend to wear this nude with a lot of my lip glosses and there it is right here such a gorgeous color definitely has more like a pinky tone to it and way lighter than this one there it is but they're so beautiful on the lips and then my last lip liner is from MAC Cosmetics and this is Mahogany and I like this one because it has a very rich um, warm undertone so perfect for my warm tone nudes and this one here is Mahogany so you see there's a quite a bit of variation between the three and those are the ones that I tend to rotate to and they just look gorgeous with lip gloss lipstick you name it perfect so i also have a liquid lipstick from smashbox that i use as a lip liner all of the time it's a gorgeous brown with not a lot of red in it it's it's definitely more of a true neutral brown this is called deep thoughts and i am almost out of this i've been through so many of them but this is a gorgeous product to line your lips and then go over it with your nude lipsticks and because it's a liquid lipstick it's going to last all day long so here is right here deep thoughts from smashbox see how it's very very neutral compared to these ones almost has like a cool undertone it goes so so well with my nude lipsticks right there 
So those are my lip liner situation right here. On to lipsticks. Uh, I have some liquid lipsticks, some true bullet lipsticks, and um, some kind of creamy lipstick situation. So I'm going to start off with the ones that I've been using the most. Uh, they are newer to me, but I have been putting these on for the past a week to two weeks straight. I can't put them down, super affordable. These are from NYX Cosmetics and it is newer to their line. These are called the Lingerie Push-Ups Long Lasting Lipsticks. I don't like the shape of them. I'm not really into the whole pencil lipstick. I really wish that they were just in a true bullet form but I still really love the product and the shades especially. So this is a very matte lipstick. It's not drying, but definitely hydrate your lips before you go in with these. They almost have this like powdery finish to them. It's really, really cool, but all matte, very long lasting. You can go eat. This will not rub off. So the first shade that I have here is called Seduction. And this is a gorgeous, warm nude. Yeah, very warm. It's like a terracotta type of shade. So right there, really pretty, super matte. You don't see any sheen to it, but very creamy when you're applying it. And it just stays with this consistency throughout the entire day. And then the other one from them is called Bedtime Flirt. And this is lighter than the first one. Has a peachy, pinky vibe to it. So right there is Bedtime Flirt. So over here, I will try to get close-ups for you guys to see them a little close-up. But that is it right there really pretty i love the formula i think they did a great great job and they last again very very long i have two from l'oreal i do have a full swatch video and review video on these products i'm going to link it up here on the screen or down in the description box so check it out these are the l'oreal what are these called they're called the infallible I think they're called the infallible, but I will leave it in the description box. And these are the two colors that I really, really like. And these, again, are a very comfortable, liquidy formula. These are liquid lipsticks, but they're not drying whatsoever. So the first shade here that I'm going to show you guys is called Explore. And it's this one over here. So it is a little um, deeper. It's not uh, a light nude. It's a deeper nude. So that one here is Explore. Right there. So when you first apply, it does have a satin finish. You guys can see that glow. But then it dries down to a matte, but a very soft, comfortable matte. So it's not going to dry your lips out or anything like that. And it's pretty long lasting. It's not like super long lasting like my NYX Cosmetics, but it will last um, a good amount on me. If you do eat, it's going to rub off. You're going to have to touch it up, but I don't mind, honestly, because it's such a comfortable formula and it looks really, really gorgeous on the lips. And these ones are very pigmented. And then the other one that I have is called Create. So this is a lighter, pinkier color. Oh, so gorgeous. So here is Create right over here. Has a little bit more of a cooler tone, a little bit more neutral, has that pinky tone to it, but still a gorgeous nude. I definitely need a lip liner with the shade here, or it just looks a little, a little off. So there it is. My last affordable product is this guy over here. This is from L'Oreal, and I believe these were launched about a year ago. A, yeah, I want to say a year ago. And these are called the Color Reach Shine uh, lipsticks. There's a ton of shades to select from. Very hydrating, balmy, sheer kind of lipstick. That's the vibe that you're going to get from this. It's very, very like sheer. And this color that I'm swatching is in the color Glossy Fawn 900. It has a very neutral tone to it. It's like a beigey nude. There's not much pink in this one at all. So there 
it is so super glossy super comfortable has a sheer finish definitely still get color payoff but it has like that glossy type of formula really comfortable really hydrating for the lips because it's like a balm and lipstick in one and it's a very close dupe to a lot of higher end lipsticks with this formula it's really really beautiful so i love this color because it's such a neutral tone and i think it just even without a lip liner i can pull this off because it has more of a sheer formula it doesn't look too off it doesn't wash me out so really like this one especially winter time when your lips start to get dry check this out we are going into high-end products and i don't have a ton of them surprisingly i had quite a few of the drugstore ones so i'm going to start off with this one from nas cosmetics because i use this all of the time especially when i first got my hands on it i wore this constantly because it's so comfortable super comfortable formula this is called the velvet lip glide in the color swing and it is more of a neutral pink on my skin tone. It's not too warm, not too cool tone. Has a beigey undertone, but you can definitely still see the hints of pink. So it's this color right over here. I wear this all the time, especially with cold brew lip liner. These two paired together is stunning. Um, lasts really well on the lips. Again, it's like a glossy lipstick so it will wear off if you're eating and whatnot so you definitely have to touch it up but it is a really great formula and the color is really beautiful have a liquid lipstick from anastasia beverly hills this i don't know if they changed the formula i find these feel a lot more comfortable than what i remember when i used to wear her liquid lipstick i stopped wearing them for years and then i got this in the mail as part of a set for her holiday collection and i just find it a little bit more comfortable more wearable so this particular color is called on mute and it's her liquid lipstick and i really really like this one very similar to the nars yeah very similar doesn't have as much pink it's more of a neutral beigey nude right there and it is a complete matte formula so once it's dried down it will stick it will stay all day so definitely hydrate your lips before going in with this one because this is a matte pigmented formula a lip liner is a must um i can go in with cold brew but i'd probably do something darker like mahogany um and then they will look really really nice together but that is it from uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is her liquid lipstick. I have two Lancome lipsticks, different formulas. So I'm going to start off with this one in the black cap. This is called the L'Absolute Rouge Drama Matte in the shade 274. So this has a matte formula and it is a gorgeous true pink nude, which I really, really like my pinky nudes, especially if I'm using the right lip liner. I'm going to swatch it right over here. It's like it's a baby doll pink, but it's deep enough where I can wear it. So it's this color over here. I hope you guys can see that. It's so <laughs> It's so awkward where I placed it, but this color over here, it's really, really pretty, really pigmented, has a matte formula, but still very comfortable. It's not drying on the lips or anything like that. And I think it's just a really gorgeous, gorgeous color. And then the other one from Lancome that I have here is from the Mademoiselle Place. I think that's the name of it. This is the absolute mademoiselle shine lipsticks and the shade is 232 and it looks like that it's very very similar to the l'oreal formula where it has more of that sheer wash of color very nude and it has that beigey tone this has tiny little sparkles in the or is that just residue oh no sparkles so it's i'm, I'm swatching it right beside the l'oreal and you guys will see how f the formula is very similar so if you don't want to splurge on these lancome ones definitely consider checking out the l'oreal because they're very similar so this one here 
is the Lancome and this one is the L'Oreal. So the colors are different. This has a little bit more pink to it, which is the Lancome and the L'Oreal is like a true beige. But in terms of the formula, I mean, can we even tell a difference? Because I really can't. I cannot tell a difference. The sheen on both of them is the same. They're very comfortable, very bomb-like. I think they're very spot on in terms of the formula, but really, really beautiful shades right over here. So when I want something a little bit more soft and not as much pigment, I go towards those two. Next, I have a liquid lipstick from Bobbi Brown. These are some of my favorite formula when it comes to a liquid lipstick because it's so comfortable on the lips and it lasts really well on the lips. It doesn't dry out your lips and it's not heavy. It's a very like liquidy formula and it just looks really beautiful. This is in the shade Tomboy and I use this constantly. These are called the Lux Liquid Lip Velvet Matte. There's another shade that I really like. I can't remember. I'm going to link it down below for you guys. So Tomboy is um, another kind of like pinky nude I want to say with a brown undertone and i wear this all of the time also so here is tomboy right there so when it goes on it's definitely has like a satin finish it's very like liquidy formula but then it dries down to a complete matte but a very comfortable soft and i have one from fenty beauty again these liquid lipsticks the formula of these two are very very similar where they're super comfortable not drying whatsoever they have a little movement to them so that's how they get comfortable on your lips this is the color uncuffed and it's sort of similar to the bobby brown but i want to say it's a little more pigmented it's deeper in tone so i'm going to put that right over here yeah this one has more of a pinkier vibe than bobby brown it's a deep nude shade so it's right over here this is uncuffed by fenty beauty right there really nice formula it lasts super nicely on my lips and if you eat it's definitely gonna rub off a little just like the bobby brown but you can layer this and it won't feel heavy on the lips in my opinion so i don't mind that at all and there is the color uncuffed it's like this really beautiful rosy tone not so much pink pink but rosy tone and then the last one that i have is from smashbox this is from smashbox and it's called uh safe word it's from their be legendary lipstick line which i don't hear a lot of people talking about but this line has some gorgeous lip colors and stunning shades so i'm gonna put that right over here now i'm looking at it some of these colors look so similar this is beautiful look at this the pigmentation on this is gorgeous it's a peachy nude with like beigey undertones right there i love this color especially with um the matte lipstick as the liner because it's a new it's like a nice neutral color it goes so well with this shade so that is it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it and learned something new and cool today i'm going to link all of the products down in the description box so definitely check it out and don't forget to let me know what lipsticks you are loving in terms of nudes or even your favorite reds and if you guys want to see a video on just my favorite deep reds or berry tones or colors for like the fall then let me know in the comment section as always thank you so much for your love and support and i will chat with you guys in the next video ciao